Warren Buffett once said, I love dividends because they represent a direct cash return on your investment no matter what the market is doing. So forget the myth that dividends are just a small bonus. They can be a powerful force to fuel your financial success. As John was struggling oh. to make ends meet, everything changed when he stumbled upon six monthly dividend stocks that would pay his rent. Prepare to be inspired and set sail towards a brighter, rent-free future by knowing what monthly dividend stocks are, the advantages of investing in monthly dividend stocks, the selection criteria, along with six mighty dividends that can pay your rent, and how much you'll need. The investment you need to make is even lower than you might think to earn a steady income of $2,000 every month. First, it's imperative to know what monthly dividend stocks are. Monthly dividend stocks are a specific type of stock that pays dividends on a monthly basis, as opposed to the more common quarterly or annual dividends. These stocks are typically issued by companies that generate steady cash flows and have a commitment to providing regular income to their shareholders. The advantages of investing in monthly dividend stocks are manifold. Firstly, the regular monthly payouts provide investors with a consistent income stream, allowing for better budgeting and financial planning. This can be especially beneficial for individuals who rely on these dividends to cover their living expenses or generate passive income. Moreover, monthly dividends offer a reliable cash flow, which can be reinvested to compound wealth over time. This compounding effect can accelerate portfolio growth and potentially enhance long-term returns. Additionally, monthly dividend stocks tend to be more appealing to income-oriented investors, such as retirees or those seeking a reliable source of passive income. The consistent and frequent dividends provide a sense of stability and reduce reliance on selling shares for income. Next, the selection criteria. At first, we look at something called dividend yield. This tells us how much money you can get from dividends compared to the price of the stock. But we also need to make sure that the company can keep paying these dividends in the long run. Secondly, we consider how stable the company is. We want companies that are financially healthy, have a good business foundation, and consistently earn money. When a company is stable, we can trust that it will continue to pay dividends. Lastly, we look at the growth potential of the company. This means we want to find stocks that have the potential to increase in value over time, in addition to paying regular dividends. By considering these criteria, we try to choose stocks that give people a reliable income, have a stable foundation, and also have the potential to grow in the future. So if you're not afraid of taking a little more risk in search of big and consistent payouts, these six monthly dividend stocks might be worth a look, which made John pay his rent. The shares are ranked from the lowest yield to the highest, and at the end, you'll learn how much you need to invest to earn $2,000 a month with these stocks. Number 1. In this list of dividends for paying rent is Stag Industrial, which has a yield of 4.23%. Stag Industrial is a real estate investment trust, or a REIT, that focuses on owning industrial real estate, specifically warehouses and light industrial facilities. These types of properties have experienced high demand due to various factors. Firstly, the pandemic accelerated the adoption of e-commerce, leading to increased warehousing needs. Additionally, the ongoing supply chain challenges have prompted an increase in manufacturing activities within the United States. These factors have contributed to high occupancy levels and rising rental rates, allowing STAG to generate a consistent and growing stream of rental income. Over the years, STAG has successfully increased its dividend payout. A significant driver of this growth has been the REIT's ability to consistently expand its portfolio. Since its initial public offering, IPO, a decade ago, STAG has added more than 400 properties to its portfolio. This expansion has resulted in a portfolio of over 500 buildings, further diversifying and strengthening the company's income-generating assets. This consistent dividend growth enhances the attractiveness of investing in Stag Industrial for individuals like John. By investing in Stag Industrial, John can benefit from the REIT's focus on industrial real estate, which has experienced strong demand and rising rental rates. Number 2. 
The second in our list is Realty Income, having a yield of 5.08%, which stands out as the leading provider of monthly dividend stocks, proudly branding itself as the monthly dividend company. The company has a remarkable track record, having paid over 600 consecutive monthly dividends as of early 2022. Furthermore, since its initial public offering, IPO, in 1994, Realty Income has increased its dividend over 100 times, achieving a compound annual growth rate of 4.5%. This exceptional dividend growth has earned Realty Income the status of a dividend aristocrat, with more than 25 years of consecutive dividend increases. Looking to the future, Realty Income is well positioned to continue delivering a steadily growing monthly income stream to investors. In 2021, the company made a significant move by acquiring Verite, another prominent REIT. This strategic acquisition, combined with approximately $6 billion worth of properties purchased in smaller deals, is expected to boost Realty Income's cash flow per share. Additionally, Realty Income's reputation as a dividend aristocrat underscores its commitment to long-term dividend growth, providing confidence to investors seeking reliable income over an extended period. Number 3. Oxford Square Capital Corporation It has a forward dividend yield of 13.5%. Oxford Square Capital Corp. operates as a business development company, a unique entity that functions similar to a hedge fund, actively seeking profitable investment opportunities across various sectors. Oxford Square Capital engages in a diverse range of investments. The company focuses its investments on what can be described as Goldilocks companies, enterprises that are not excessively large nor too small. These companies typically have annual revenues of less than $200 million, making them substantial and viable entities, yet not small enough to rely solely on local bank financing. Given the dynamic and ever-changing economic landscape, a BDC like Oxford Square Capital leverages its expertise to identify investment opportunities that offer the potential for attractive returns. While investments always carry risks, the company's diversified approach and focus on companies of an optimal size provide a level of stability and growth potential. In addition, don't forget to consult with a financial advisor to understand the tax implications involved. Number 4. Orchid Island Capital Incorporated (ORC). Orchid Island Capital Incorporated has a forward dividend yield of 17.3%. Orchid Island Capital is a specialty finance company that specializes in residential mortgage-backed securities, or RMBS, within the real estate sector. By primarily investing in these securities, the company generates income from interest payments made on the underlying residential mortgages. Similar to other real estate investment trusts, Orchid Island Capital distributes dividends to its stockholders, ensuring that at least 90% of its taxable income is shared with investors. For John, who may not have significant capital to invest in real estate properties, investing in companies like Orchid Island Capital provides an opportunity to indirectly participate in the real estate market and benefit from its income potential. By owning shares in Orchid Island Capital, John can receive a portion of the profits generated from the company's investments in residential mortgage-backed securities. Number 5. Armor Residential REIT Incorporated (ARR) with a dividend yield of 18.5%. Armor Residential REIT specializes in residential mortgages that are protected by the government. This includes agency debt, backed by fixed-rate, hybrid, and adjustable-rate home loans. Similar to other real estate stocks, ARR operates as a real estate investment trust. As a REIT, the company is required to distribute at least 90% of its taxable income to shareholders in the form of dividends. This mandate creates a framework for significant and regular dividend payouts. It's worth noting that stock performance can fluctuate in the short term due to various market factors. If you've found the video helpful so far and are thinking of investing in monthly dividend stocks, you can join our free Discord community where the members help each other with investing. Click on the link in the bio to join. Number 6. The San Juan Basin Royalty Trust SJT, with a dividend yield of 22.5%. 
Now, before diving headfirst into this stock solely based on its enticing 22.5% forward dividend yield, it's essential to understand the nature huh? of this roughly $500 million company. SJT falls under the category of a depletion trust, which means that as a partner, the assets being purchased are the fixed reserves of fossil fuels located underground. Returns from investing in SJT are based on the extraction and sale of those oil and gas reserves. Over the past 12 months, energy prices have been favorable for drillers, leading to inflated payouts for SJT investors. Additionally, SJT brought a significant portion of its reserves to the market, further boosting the company's returns. By investing in SJT, John is indirectly participating in the fossil fuel industry. The company's operations are tied to the extraction and sale of oil and gas reserves, contributing to the energy sector's overall dynamics. While the energy market can be volatile, Potential returns from SJT can provide John with a consistent income source, enabling him to meet his financial obligations. Thus, San Juan Basin Royalty Trust SJT, operates as a depletion trust, with its value rooted in the fixed reserves of fossil fuels. The company's dividend yield of 22.5% may appear attractive, but it's important to consider the fluctuations in oil prices and the associated risks. Moreover, to determine the investment required to earn $2,000 per month, we can analyze the average returns of the six mentioned stocks and assume an equal investment in all of them. First, let's calculate the average return of the six stocks. The returns are 4.23%, 5.08%, 13.5%, 17.3%, and 22.5%. To find the average, we add up these percentages and divide by 6, like this. 4.23 plus 5.08 plus 13.5 plus 17.3 plus 18.5 plus 22.5 divided by 6 equals 13.51%. This average return represents the annual average return on our investments. Since we aim to generate $2,000 per month, we need to earn a total of $24,000 in a year. To determine the total investment required, we divide the desired annual income, $24,000, by the annual average return percentage, 13.51%. So $24,000 divided by 13.51% equals $177,646. Therefore, to generate a monthly payout of $2,000, we would need to invest a total of $177,646. This amount takes into account the average returns of the stocks and ensures that our investments can generate the desired income on a monthly basis. And now, if you want to know what John can get from $10,000 in savings, click on the link up here.